<laughs> hey, what is going on, everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and taking a stop here yet again over at the PlayStation 3 because we are going to be covering not a game or really a game type application here like we've covered before. We're actually going to be heading over to the video section here, and I'm going to be showing you something I have not covered before, which is going to be Movian, a homebrew based media center essentially for the playstation 3 that used to be called showtime which adds a lot more functionality one of the things with the ps3 that it advertised back in the day was that it only does everything and a lot of people including myself did end up picking one up because of the media center capabilities and just for the ability to load it up with a bunch of movies tv shows music and all that fun stuff and have it in one go it was pretty good for that back in the day, it has started to show its age, and while as it's not the latest and greatest thing right now, so it's not like you're all of a sudden going to be able to start watching 4K movies on this, having Movian installed does add something a little extra to this, and gives you a little more functionality and really improves the video playback functionality on the PlayStation 3. So that does help out quite a bit, and it is something I feel like many would be interested in. It also came back on my radar because it did end up getting a slight name change, and even in 2024 is still being updated because it is now called Movian M7, and it states that LibAV has been swapped for FFmpeg, so it should be better in terms of performance and compatibility with some of our favorite videos here that we can load up on a network or a USB drive or what have you. So I will have a link to this article down below in the description if you want to check it out. However, if you are wanting to check this out on your PS3, there are going to be a few prerequisites you'll need. First of all, of course you are going to need a modified PlayStation 3. This is compatible with both custom firmware and PS3 HIN. As long as your PS3 has been modified by either one of those, you should be okay. You're also going to need a USB drive and a computer so we can download the Movian application and get it installed here on the console itself. With all that being said, let's go ahead and move over to our PC and grab our USB drive. I will have this linked down below in the description along with everything else, but you can go ahead and download the latest build of Movian over on Brewology by going over here and downloading the latest build and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Now you will of course need a USB drive and it will have to be initially formatted to FAT32 so we can install our applications here. But for this, you just need to grab your package file, right click, copy it out, go into our USB drive, right click and paste it here. Now as an example, I've copied over several different files that have been encoded in different ways and a few different formats as well. Well, one of them is MKV, the other ones are MP4 and some are H.264, some are H.265. This is still FAT32, however one nice benefit is that apparently Movian allows for NTFS USB playback. So if you want to use that format, you should be able to, but I'm going to be sticking with the native FAT32 for the PS3. Once that's been set up and you have your videos the way you like them, you can right click, eject your USB drive, and move back over to the PS3. Back over at the PlayStation 3, I have plugged in the USB drive, so it is showing right here, but let's go ahead and enable HIN. If you have not enabled HIN, you're going to want to do so right now, or if you have custom firmware, you really don't need to worry about this extra enable step. But once that has all been enabled, you can go to your package manager, install package files, standard, and then install Movian. Just wait a few moments for this to install. Once that's done, we can X out of there. Now go over to not the video section, but actually the TV video services section, and you should find something new here, which is going to be Movian, or as it's now called, M7, or Movian M7. Let's just go ahead and give this a launch. So here we go, when we open up Movian, it should look a little something like this, and let's just go ahead and do something basic here. I do have my USB flash drive plugged in, and it does have a few movies on deck. So over here, we can go over to USB drive zero, tap the X button, and so far we're in good shape because it is generating the thumbnails for our videos here. Now I am going to give you a heads up here that some of the videos will play fine, others aren't. It really seems to be when it comes down to the codex, that's going to be the biggest thing. Again, keep in mind the PS3, it is an older system. It was manufactured in 2006. Movian will improve it when it comes to video playback, but it's not going to let you all of a sudden play the latest 4K movies with an H.265 codec in a MKV wrapper. So for this here, I can load this one up. For example, 
example, I know this will work just fine. Here is a MP4 video I have here that was encoded with the H.264 codec. It seems to be working just fine. There is a sound that is playing. And if you tap the X button, it does bring up some options here. So if you want to change the audio tracks, you're more than welcome to. If you want to change any of the other settings here, you have all of these available, especially some things such as a sleep timer, which is, you know, nice to see here. And if you have subtitles here, you can even change out these subtitles, enable them, disable them, what have you. You really just need these subtitle files with the actual video files themselves. Or if you have a video file that has these subtitles already baked in, then you can enable and disable them at will. So this is working successfully. I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Here's a 720p video I have. It's one of my own videos here, and it's an MP4, and I don't know the exact codec that's being used here, but this was just a download from YouTube here as an example. And we're doing a little bit of an inception here because this is one of my own videos, but as you can see, it is working and it's running successfully. So there doesn't seem to be any issue here, and there's not really any hiccups on this. So this is also looking really good. I'll exit out of this one here. However, some of the issues that we do run into, like I said, will be newer codecs. So this is a MP4 file with H.265 that I encoded this in, and in a standard web browser or even any modern device, this should work fine, but as as you can see, the audio is playing, but the video is really struggling here. So you are going to have to go with some older video codecs for this here. However, the cool thing is some of the videos that are kind of in between where they don't really work very well natively on the PS3, but they're not going to be super demanding, Movian should hopefully be able to play those. We can exit out of this here because we know that one is not very playable. I do know this here is a MKV file which is not natively working on the PS5 and it looks good at least, however we run into the exact same issue here where it is quite slow. So this is also going to be unwatchable, but if you have maybe some low resolution MKV files, you can play them on here right off a USB drive, you don't have to worry about remuxing them, changing the format, converting them, any of that, well, not fun stuff here. So let's go ahead and exit out, but we do have our video files that are working on a USB drive. If you ever want to navigate to some video files on the PS3's hard drive, you can check out PS3 HDD. And ideally, if you have some videos where, for example, you want to transfer them over here to run on Movian, you can make a new folder here, like through FTP or USB transfers, or you can go into something like video and just put your video files in here. And that way you can play them locally on the PS3 with Movian, without having to have a USB drive sticking out, without having to have a network connection as well too, if you so choose to do that. If we go out here, speaking of networks, we do have a local network option. Now, if you go in here and you don't see anything, that's probably because on your local network, you just don't have a video or streaming server up and running. Uh, I personally do run a Plex server, but it's not going to be showing up on here at least. However, if you do have one that is compatible and it shows up on your local network option, then you can stream compatible video files from it, which is also really nice to see. And in the plugins section here, you can check out the available plugins and you can get some more functionality from here. Now I do want to say your mileage may vary on this. When it comes to this, for example, you can check out video streaming and there's a few options here. I did play around with this a little bit and I know, for example, Nebula, if you want to download and run this, you do have to use a username and password for this, so you do have to have your own Nebula account. YouTube player, I did check this one out. Unfortunately though, it says no interface, but I also could not get this one working. So you might have to give up on the YouTube dream through Movian on the PS3. But they do have some others such as music streaming, subtitles, if you want to be able to download subtitles for some movies and TV shows, you can go ahead and install this. However, do keep in mind if you do use open subtitles, for example, you might have to come out here, go into your settings, go all the way down to applications and installed plugins and provide a username and password for this if you need to make that connection and get the downloads you need. While we're down here, we can also check out the discovered media sources where you have, for example, here Dev Rewrite, where let's say there's something here that you don't wanna have showing. Maybe you have a local server that you don't wanna pop up on here or Dev Rewrite in this case. I'm going to tap this and I'm just going to disable it and you're all good at that point. 
However, if you want to change some other things like USB zero, you can enable or disable it, but you can even change the name and also the type. I wouldn't recommend changing the type, but you can rename this if you really want to. There's also several different global settings up here you can check out. So if you want to tweak things further, you're more than welcome to, including your audio settings, the subtitles here, for example, where, like I said, if you have subtitles that are in a video file, you can enable or disable this, automatically select from this source if you want to, but you can also change these subtitles themselves so if you're really particular about the size of your subtitles the positioning and such this would be where you want to edit them so if you're looking for accessibility options this is a great place to be right here if you want to tweak the video playback you can do this as well too although honestly i feel like most people will probably not try to change many of these options if at all here but that's fine because you can still tweak what you need to on here without any issues so if you ever want to change anything the options are there We'd even check out the look and feel. You can change the fonts if you want to and even get really granular. Like if you want to change how long the info banner shows up, you can change that. You can tweak the background. You can change the screensaver and just quite a bit of options right here. I just wanted to transfer over some files and it looks like we have a nice classy looking screensaver right here, which is cool. But either way, I did want to test out one thing while we're here. I ended up plugging in my USB drive, transferred over a few files and I wanted to see how flat would work on here because I figured there might be some questions about that for anybody who wants maybe some audio and not just video. So here we go. This is one thing that is pretty nice here for anybody who is wanting to get some more audio options out of their PS3. And I will say a little bit nostalgic because when I used to work at a game store, we had a PS3 that we would just load up with a bunch of albums and we would be playing music in the background on them on our surround sound system. But if you are wanting that nice, crispy, flak quality, if you have any songs, any albums that are in flak, you can copy them over to a USB drive or load them off a network and you can play them on your PS3 now through Movian which is really nice to see. So there you go you get some added functionality so even if you're not trying to watch anything if you're just trying to listen to something you got something a little extra here. So there we go you can really maximize Movian as much or as little as you want to and I kind of just want to do this quick spotlight and overview over it just to kind of get you all up and running pretty quickly on here. For me like I said this would be optimal if I'm wanting to use my PS3 extend out a little more as a media player and just play some extra media off of a USB drive if I have either music or movies or TV shows on here. And the nice thing is, again, even in 2024, you're able to squeeze a little more playback and functionality out of your PS3, all thanks to Movian right here. So since I'm done with this, at least let's go ahead and quit out. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully you all with modified PlayStation 3s can take this video and enjoy, well, even more videos on the PS3 thanks to Movian M7. That's about it for this video though. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.